Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to Crimson Sand. I'm very happy to be back today to talk about how to form the Frost Watcher, aka how to beat the almighty Death Stalker. Yes, I beat the Death Stalker by myself. Of course, not by, by myself, but I'm very excited to share with you what I found out by so many testing. And I want to share this with you. So hopefully that can help you uh, when you are doing the Death Stalker and also to help me uh, to have a better party when we are continuing to build another three or four Frost Watcher. So yes, so let's do it together. But before that, I just want to show you like I already we are already doing the research for the Frost Watcher synthetic fiber blueprint. And I can do research for the nano tube blueprint. I just need to form the frost watcher blueprint. Then I can make the, our first frost watcher. Yes, I also got a frost watcher polymer sentient blueprint. <clears throat> so just to show you, of course, I don't win all the time because most of the time we are playing in the public party and you don't know. Who you play with and that's another reason we are making this video so hopefully so you will understand how the death stalker work and then you'll realize oh actually it's it is not that difficult so if i can make it then definitely you can do it as well especially after the guide i hope you will have a lot more clarity about what everything is about but before we go into the Death Stalker, just to share with you, in this content we still use Ajax, uh, my favorite, my go-to, my safety descendant, because it got high. You can see from our stat we have more than forty-nine thousand defense. But for you, I would suggest a few things. First of all, you can definitely have a higher shield, because once you are hunted. HP is also very important because in the Death Stalker, and that will share with you as well, you will most likely to be haunted. I'm not sure if you have high toxin resistance, um, if that will help you to not to be haunted or less likely to be haunted when this ghost face running around after you. But because you can see um, we as Ajax, we have really low toxin resistance with our weak point. So I would suggest you, if you also have low toxin resistance, higher max shield will be a very, very good way to, to, com to, to compensate the fact that once you are hunted, your HP will be halved. Okay, and then they can stack, meaning once you are hunted, if you are hit again by another ghost face, ghost face, or and another time, every time you are hit, your health cap will be um, half. So meaning, it is of course then that's no good. So um, shield if you are able to work on that. So even if your health is half, you will less likely to be killed. And of course. Um, higher H higher HP will be a way to counter that effect as well. So just to let you know before we go into a death stalker, I was thinking about um to try our our gluttony volby build as well because our gluttony volby have a very very high HP. Um, but but yeah, for now, just w I'll just share with you about the Ajax. Of course, um, also in this gameplay. You can see a lot of people using different things like Haley, like Glenn, like um, Eugene is very good. Enzo not too bad as well. Even Bunny also doing good. It's really about how you can manage when you are dealing with Death Stalker. It is not as complicated as the Gluttony, not also not as complicated as the molten fortress as well as long as you know what you're doing and that's another reason i i'm am able to beat that stalker so if even i can beat that stalker then you can definitely definitely do that 
Okay, so first of all, the first rule is um, try not to be on the same level as the dead stalker. Okay, because one of its moves is is constantly giving uh, giving out that circle circle attack that ring, right? But if you are not on the same level, then you will not be damaged by the ring. Okay, because the ring won't touch you. So on this map you can definitely like just trying to be lower and the lower level or on the higher level to avoid that ring okay and then secondly you can see that i was already haunted in the very beginning but not everyone's haunted so maybe the toxin resistance does um does do something about being haunted and you can see once i'm haunted my health is immediately capped unless than 50% because I think I was um, I got the effect at least twice so you can see that I was affected but once you're haunted you just need to not to worry about it and then you can see these white rings white white clocks that will the death stalker will drop that white thing uh, from time to time so when you are haunted you just need to wait go inside to that white thing white ring and then wait and once it's gone gold and explode, then your haunted effect will be um, disappeared, will be cleared. Okay, so um, it, it's not about how long you are in there, it's about once you are in there. So if someone else were in that ring already, then you go in later, that's, that works as well. And of course, you can see that ghost face just hunt, like uh, chasing you everywhere. and that's one thing you will need to try to avoid and once you once your team um, give the stalker um, a particular damage not immediately after the show is gone because I did a few times the timing for him to reach that immune effect um, is not the same every match okay so I am not sure when it will go to immune, but of course you will know once it went to immune. But normally it will be okay after we deplete over this shield, and after a while it will go to the immune effect. And once it is in immune, then you will see on the map start dropping different, different the uh, device. And mo all of the device, most of the device will have like the face of Death Stalker, and only one of them, only one of them will show you this um, closed device. Then you need to find that closed device. You can see from the picture here, you look like that. So you need to look for that. And then after you see that device, you need to go into there in within the ring, and then wait. You don't. And then wait until the timer is up. After the timer is up, then the immune um, effect of the death stalker will be cleared. Then you can continue. Then you can then you can continue to deal the damage on the death stalker. But there's a few things that are very dangerous when you are in that ring. Okay. So first of all, the death stalker will go crazy. Like you will just continue to send you this green haunted face. Secondly, you will see this green, this green attack dropping from the sky. Okay, you need to re also run away from the green attack because that will most likely one one shot you. Okay, another thing is this green, this green attack as well. This green, green, green attack that will also most likely one shot you, or if not one shot. Um, because it gives you the continuous continuous wave <clears throat> during this time so okay so once you are in this ring um, while you are waiting for the immune to be cleared you and your team need to be careful about three things the first thing is the haunted face that the death stalker sends second thing is this green attack from the sky that will kill you one shot if you are in there so you also need to um, run away from it 
um, but of course it's not immediate you will have some time to react one to two seconds to react and then to run away from this green green um, wave and the third thing is the rings that the death stalker will send um, at the end of the nearly near the end of the um, immune time timer okay if you call it timer so so um, he will you can see from the gameplay the wave he sent is continuously and you just need to be careful about about it and you and your team need to know that sometimes you need to be patient with your team and allow you know really to continue to save each other then you will be able to 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 beat their stalker okay so don't don't feel bad and then give up immediately after you were killed <clears throat> because because it does take time it does take time and if you are able to save each other especially when he was sending those frenzy attack um, then you should be able to go through this because after after the immune effect of the death stalker then you can continue to deal damage on it and then just continue to repeat the same thing and to really to just manage of course try not to be killed try to deal damage and then try to stay away from the green haunted face you need to have some practice as well and then and then really just be patient with yourself and that's then you will be able to beat that stalker okay every time i we are able to beat the death stalker is because the teams are able to support each other when each other are dead no one is shouting or or saying whatever you just keep reviving each other and then keep working on the death stalker and yeah just do the sensible things you know when when you are down try to try to move away from from the open space right if you, when you're down you can move you try to move to a safer place for your for your team to save you and i also beat we also beat that stalker without eugene in the team so don't worry about oh there's no eugene in the team because you don't know other team members they can be very good as well and most of the time was saved by Haley or Glee or Volby, everyone. So, 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 yeah, just be patient. And then I think that's everything um, about the Death Stalker I can share with you. Of course, there are, there is weak points. Um, uh, there is also the time when he go crazy, uh, and uh, I, I'm just not going to address that because that's just more like a common sense when we are fighting this um, colossus okay so again just don't forget uh, there are a lot of timers different kind of timers in this game the, the white timers that can help you to clear your haunted effect and then the timer that you need to or at least one team members need to be in to start the timer for us to clear the death stalkers immune effect and that's all you yeah that's that's just a few things and if you are killed be patient with yourself and with other people then you will be fine okay okay so that's everything about the death stalker i hope you can also beat the death stalkers like i do and then you can also share with me if there's anything i um, forgot to mention or anything that I miss and then you can also share with us uh, which descendant that you use in this case right there's no particular descendant that's better or, or, or worse it's really just about which one is your most comfortable descendant and um, which one you are able to really manage your damage and manage your own health you are able to manage in this kind of situation so that's why I just that's why I want to say and um, yeah so good luck and then I hope I will see you in some of the battle some of the battlefield and then we can all get the frost watcher very very soon 
Thank you very much for watching us. If you like our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment us. So that can really motivate me to do a lot more videos and then to do better videos. And also thank you so much for allowing me to practice with you. If anything, just please, please, please share in the comment. And then let's play the First Descendant and other games together. Thank you very much and I will see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.